Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld, the Atomic Robo Hotel. So in the last episode, we got ourselves a storefront, basically, it's done. It's just, we gotta fill it with stuff. Uh, so we are working on that currently. We're digging on a new area over here so we can get more clothing, manufacturing, and storage of, uh, uh, you guys are left us fruit shine? Oh, it's like moonshine, but out of fruit. Cool, so we got more stuff to sell. Uh, it's nice that they're leaving us stuff to, uh, give us more sellables. Uh, okay, um, so yeah, we, uh, oh, now I'm all thrown off. What else did we do? I had it all in my head. Um, okay, well, either way. Uh, so yeah, we're setting up a new manufacturing center for clothing because we need to do certain stockpile and other funky stuff like that. Speaking of which, it is done. Uh, we need this to be critical? Yes, because this is where we're going to be storing uh, some cloth. That way we always have cloth on standby. Uh, we can copy that and paste that. That way if we want to do carpets and stuff, we'll always have uh, 1500 ready to go. All the rest of the cloth is going to be going in towards clothing production. Uh, we have our new electric tailoring bench up and running any second now. And uh, that's because we were using just the hand tailoring one before because I fucked up when I placed it initially. Uh, so we're going to be setting up bills for that. And that shouldn't be too hard with the new system we got in place. Uh, how's our guest amount? We're doing good. We don't need that there. Uh, we're also digging out our spot in here for our research facility. Last episode, we did get ourselves our cooking area set up and a larger freezer. Uh, what else do we do? I think that was most of it. Uh, we do need to get this stuff switched out. So these shelves are all going to be going in a way. Uh, because this room is going to be selling multiple varieties of food, uh, as well as our drugs. And it's all going to be, we're going to be refrigerating all drugs, even if drugs don't need to be refrigerated. Uh, mostly because I don't know which ones are which, and I'd rather not, like, that one. It's fine not being refrigerated, because 4.6 years, it'll probably sell by then. But there is some drugs that do need to be refrigerated. It's not worth risking anything if we can just, and it's not a problem just having them in a freezer. So, yeah, we'll set that up. Um, we need a fuck ton of clothing and weapons here. So we also need to get weapon, pr weapon production up and running as well. Now, this is where it's going to get tricky because we need to make sure that the only people making clothing are people with skills high enough to not make low quality clothing. Um, and that is, whoops, and that is because, you know, if we're making low quality clothing, then the money that we can make selling the base materials it's made of would be more valuable than the clothing itself. So we definitely want to turn a profit or else there's no point actually spending time making it. Um, so right now we have a seven and we might just have to take a loss for a little bit while we work on this. And Ryan's not going to be doing it. Ryan would be the best person to do it, but he spends a lot of time, you know, talking and stuff. Um, so you guys down here have a six, but you guys don't need to do that. Um, actually, you know what? It's the tailoring. We can keep crafting as a three. That way you guys can do it if you have nothing else. But tailoring, we got to make sure. And smithing as well, because that's for weapons. Because right now we're not crafting any craftables that are skill dependent for quality. Uh, and I don't actually think there's a whole lot... Is there anything here that's actually skill dependent? Oh, we got weaving wool, which isn't skill dependent, I don't think. Um, yeah, no, I think that's mostly, technically mending is skill dependent because if you, uh, if you mend stuff with a low skill, then you have a higher chance of failing on it, which then drops its quality. But you, know, you can't really, separate that so it's fine um okay so we want to make a ton of different clothing uh and the best way to go about this is we can go like that uh that way we could set this up so we can do and we have to also and this is where uh mint menus will be very helpful because normally you'd have to set up a bill and then you go and you do the information to see you know what its value is based on the resource cost but this all has it all on one so at 60 so the Profit margin. So we're going to assume cloth is going to be the main material we're building stuff out of. Uh, so it has a base value of 1.5 silver. So preferably, we want to pick clothing that has a higher value per material cost than that. So for easy numbers, we'll go a times two multiplier. Um, so for example, this would be 60. So we'd want that to be a market value of about 120. 
uh, minimum 90. And then again, that's also going to depend on, that's based on normal quality clothing. So as long as we're making higher than normal quality, the profit margins are technically better. Uh, but we're going to want to do the best that we can. So that needs to be a 50. That needs to be an 80. Um, we might not actually have a whole lot. That's going to be a higher one. So the thermal pants are a profit. That's a times two multiplier on it. Uh, now, what do you actually need? Because um, it just says ingredients, but it doesn't say what type of ingredients. Um, and that is just fabric. That's something we got to keep in mind, too, is what it is. So we could do a thermal pants. Uh, and we could also do bandages. What, uh, that's a medical skill as well. Um, medical potency. See, that, we don't really need that because we're not going to be really selling that. Surgical mask or something that we can sell. Um, oh, there we go. So it will say, does, uh, now, do we have anything in here that would possibly take something like steel? Because will it say a different type or is it like military fatigues? If we do that for a sec, um, that is just cloth. Is there anything that we can make that would take more than just a fabric? That way I could see if... Ah, there we go. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That's great to know. So all of these that just say ingredients are just going to be fabric ingredients. I'm pretty sure anyways. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, so, uh, travel wear, so that's, uh, 60, okay, uh, 60, 490, nah, we got visitor, okay, that's a lot of visitors coming in, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, good, we could take up to 13, so we're still fine, uh, depending on relationships as well, of course, but we could, we have 13 total beds, so we preferably keep within that, so, uh, if we get any more visitors, we'll have to reject them, but for now, that's fine. Uh, so thermal pants are good, and then we don't need, so those are 50 for, wow. Oh, that's 58, but still it works out as good, so we can make those. Uh, sombrero is, it's close to a two time, so that should be fine. Uh, that needs to be 70, so no. Okay, so that's cloth and medicine for scrubs. Uh, preferably not, but that does have a lot of bonuses there, but we don't really need to worry about those. Um, I'm not making these, we're making them to sell, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, we can give some clothing to our bots, because there is some of these that might be worth it, but I kind of don't really want to give the bots clothing. I'd rather them be, you know, robots, uh, and robots, it wouldn't make sense for robots to have clothing. Um, but either way, so that's, wow, that's actually really good. 75 for uh, almost 200, so we'll make that. Uh, patch leather, we don't want to make. Uh, patch pants is two and a half times, so that's good. Parka is not quite there, but it would be nice to make a parka as well. Um, you know, have clothing that are also temperature dependent. So if people are here in the winter with inappropriate, uh, inappropriate gear, they have the ability to buy it without getting pissed off. Uh, so we'll get a parka. We'll do pants as well. Uh, again, that's not super profitable, but it is still technically above the minimum of one and a half. Not by much, but it is but it would be beneficial. Uh, that's good for profit. Padded vests are good for profit. Uh, does that have anything fancy? No, so we have padded. Those are double overalls. Uh, that has global work speed and movement speed. Very slight bonuses. Um, and that's almost out of times two. So we could do that as well. We just need a lot of variety, so we can't be super duper picky, but obviously do the best we can. That's profitable. Whoops, I just double added that. Um, we might also need more than one workbench just because we're making a lot of individual types of things. Uh, but we'll worry about that if we hit a capacity. I think it's like 20 bills you could put. That may also have been changed because I do have some mods that change that shit. Uh, that's profitable and that's a lab code. So that's research and, oh shit, visitors, uh, guests. Okay, so now we don't have enough room so we're gonna have to kick them out. Okay, sorry. Um, sorry. Send away. And then we'll have to uh, call them back the next time because they won't come back anytime soon. It's not ideal, but, you know, what can we do? And it was, <laughs> it was recommended that what I should do if I end up having too many guests come at once is just throw down a bunch of sleeping spots for them. 
that's not good hospitality. You can't do that. If we're do if we're gonna have guests, we're getting them proper freaking rooms. Um, and you guys are just buying more stuff. Okay, so uh, we were at lab coats, jackets. How are jackets? Uh, it's not great, but it's not bad. Hood is uh, close enough. That's again close enough for hat. Uh, we can speed this up. That's a little bit on the mess side. Uh, 150. That's a little on the mess side. Uh, fine shirt, meh. Duster. That's close enough, and it would be nice to have some heat ones as well. Desert robe probably going to be not terrible. Yeah, it's not terrible. Uh, 40 for... Nah, that's not great. Especially since we got a robe going on. Cowboy hat. Uh, it's not great. Yeah, it's fine. Cork hat. What do we got there? Oh, that's pretty good. Now, construction jacket. So this gives us... Holy shit. What, see, this might be worth putting on bots. Uh, at least a few of them that do our mining and construction. Oh, yes, that's not... The mining's not going to help with quarrying. Unless it does. I don't... Technically, they're different things. But they might use the same skill set of mining, obviously. Yeah, that would. That should, anyway. Uh, that might be worth making just for ourselves. Uh, maybe... We'll consider it for later. It's it's mostly... I don't really want bots wearing shit. Uh, that's another one that's not bad. Food poisoning chance negative 15%. That would definitely help. Uh, and it would... Actually, you know what? These bits of clothing might be a good way for us to differentiate between what bot skills are. Since most of them are going to be, you know, general skill sets. Ah, shit. We got more visitors. Um, so that is... Which group? You guys are the Choco of the Stone. Choco of the Stone. Um, you guys are going to have to go. Uh, and we already have a bit of your group here already. So by any chance, do you guys have enough? How many total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got numbers. I didn't get numbers? Huh. I thought I had numbers as part of our mod set. Because then I could just change it to all the information for all the guests. But I guess not. Uh, okay. Um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we'd need three of the relation, three sets of relationships in this whole group. Uh, and I don't know if we send these ones away, if it'll send all of the other group away, which would be really bad. So we're just going to have to risk it. But all of a sudden, we're getting a lot of guests coming in. Which I wasn't quite prepared for. Um, either way, we'll take a quick skim through these. Uh, so Chef's Hat. Uh, let's make that. And that's going to be more food poisoning. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. And then Chaps... Are they assless by any chance? If they are, that's a good deal. Actually, that's a good deal just for the price. Uh, cargo, what does that do? Uh, work speed and move speed. Um, has the profit on that. It's good. That is good. Let's just do a quick rundown since we are at the bottom of the list. No. Uh, bowler hat, no. Make. Ooh. Aim time. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, but that's good. Yes. And then we have a scarf. And scarfs are double profit. Yes. And bandage kit we don't need to worry about. Okay, so all of these uh, are getting done. So we're going to want to also... Uh, maybe I'll set this up off camera because I got to do... Do until we have plus one. Uh, we'll get some of these done. Actually, is there... Uh, if we minimize that and do details... We do have that. Is there a easy way to copy paste any of this information? Now it's copied just this bill. If I do, uh, this is one that's set up, right? Yeah, do until we have one. If we copy that information, except output product. Repeat, so that should do the right thing, yes. Uh, now, is there a hotkey for this? Well, that should be the easiest way to go through and do this with the least amount of clicks. Oh, one thing... Okay, I'll do it off camera because we also have to go back and set the radius up. So that would be like a 12. Okay, I'll be back. 
Okay, so copying it from uh, here is actually quite a bit easier uh, because we could just click, click, click instead of having to go, you know, next click, next click, next click. Um, some fine tuning stuff like that definitely is good to know. Okay, so then that should be all of these set up to a minimum range of 12. So that's going to be more than enough for what we need over here. Ooh, we got more steel there. And that'll keep that cloth out of the way. So that way we should make one of everything. Uh, eventually it'll be changed up to two. But that should fill up, uh, maybe we'll do two right now, but that should fill up a good chunk of this. Uh, we struck compact machinery. Good, so we have more stuff coming in there. Um, need research. We're not going to worry about research right now. We're all right. We've got to get that mined out. So we have anger there. And everything else is looking pretty all right. Our silver stockpile is building up a little bit more. Uh, we could speed this up. Everything's looking good. You guys are buying a bunch of stuff, which is nice. Uh, what we can also do is set all these to just get deconstructed. And we'll do all down here for drug-related stuff. So that is... Uh, oops. That should be set up for critical and all drugs. Um, but we are going to want that to be a refrigerator, actually. So we'll leave those two for now. And we'll set those up to be deconstructed. That up to be deconstructed. And that could go as well. We'll just have the one for drugs. Uh, and then we're going to need a new refrigerator. So that's going to be build copy. Two, three, four. Let's just get all these in. And we're going to need to set these up for certain foods that we are producing. Although we can technically set them for anything. As long as we essentially only cook one stack of stuff at a time. Uh, did we not get that geothermal up and running? We did not. You're lacking components. We're lacking components? We got components. Uh, can you... We're lacking components. How much did I use? Eight. We got 21. You're already moving components. Okay, duh. We're good. And can you finish that, please? Oh, God, I can't see you. Can you uh, come and build that, please? Because that's kind of an important thing right now. we got to get that power up and running. Uh, how much power does this take each? Uh, 50 watts while it's running. Now, I because I do have it set to negative... Uh, Pirate Merchant. Uh, I do have it set to negative 70, which obviously is overkill. The reason I have it set that low is that way it'll basically get as cold as it could possibly get. Uh, that way if we run out of power, it'll stay cold for a while, like if we have like a anything happen essentially. Uh, but that does mean it's going to be running at 50 all the time instead of turning off and on when necessary. So we could... What's uh, the idle? Let's get these powered up first, and then we'll see what idle is to see if it's a big difference. Because if it's like 25 idle, then we'll just take the hit. Uh, wow, okay. So you guys, some herbal medicine, herbal medicine. They left us some meats. Uh, they really like us. They are leaving us wonderful amounts of stuff. And you guys are just going to hang out over there. Uh, okay, so that is, once it hits negative 10, goes down to 15. That's a pretty big difference when it comes to 20 refrigerators. Uh, so, yeah, we'll reset these. So we'll grab all those and just go uh, reset back to default. So that's all going to just be negative 10. Maybe negative 20 would still be a good idea. Uh, so we can grab, what's that at? At negative 10. So yeah, we'll go negative 20. Give us a little bit more buffer. That should be fine. Um, okay, and then... That one still needs to be done, so that way we could set that. And we also need to get deconstruct. One there as well. Uh, so we can build the copy right there. So we want this one, and once that's in, that one to be also negative 20. If anyone wants to come and build it... <laughs> There we go. If anyone wants to actually come and finish it. Anyone? Oh, we, oh yeah, we just had a bunch of guest leaves. So that's fine. Okay, so that's negative 20. Um, so, oh, damn it. I got rid of the... It's also sideways. Uh, reinstall sideways, please. Uh, and actually, I think that's going to reinstall wrong. No, I think that's just how it's going to look. 
Um, so that should be fine. So what we could do here is, uh, we could set these up to both drugs and food. Obviously only finished meals. And then if we end up having all of them f overflowing, then we can set it up so there's more individualized things. Um... So that's probably not a bad idea. So we could do... This is critical. We're going to want to clear because we have to set this up in a logical way. Um, drugs are going to be... I guess we should have booze in here too. We'll keep it refrigerated. Uh, so that's going to be all beer. Uh, adrenaline is a drug. We have garden alcohols. We have garden sodas. Not the precursors though. Um, we could sell antitox if we get it. That ambrosia... Uh, addiction purifier is not going to get sold. Bastion is not going to get sold. Cigarellos. Again, that should be something that's on a shelf. But for now, we'll refrigerate them. That's fine. Fractal enhancement. What the hell? Oh, that's androids. Okay, so we won't do that. Go juice. Yes. Herculeum. No. Heroin. Sure, we'll sell heroin. Hydra. I don't know what the price of Hydra is. Uh, that's quite good. Uh, so it's probably a bit expensive to try to sell. I don't know what joy is. Oh, I know what joy is. It's uh, probably not something we actually want because it causes a lot of hallucinations, but it's fine. Methadone, uh, monolith, no. Monosolve. Um, that's from Androids as well. I'm going to assume that that's an expensive one. Morphine, opium, that's an expensive one. Paradigm, we've already had. Peyote, for sure. Polymer, antifreeze, probably not something we want to do. Uh, Psychic tea, yes. So we're going to be getting these teas up and running. Seraphium, no. Smelling salts probably is cheap. Uh, joints, that tea is the one we're going to be making very soon. Structure gel, probably another thing we don't want. Uh, I'm going to... I think these are cheap ones. Talks away. Troll's blood is not. That's a cheap one. Luckily, I've used uh, Medicines Plus before and Mechanite Forge, so I, for the most part, know that most of Medicines Plus, other than the uh, monolith serum is fairly cheap stuff. And then none of these. Uh, Smoke with Tincture is a finished product. I'm assuming so anyway. Uh, based on the real life equivalents. Uh, and then we also want... No more drugs. Okay, so that should be good. And we're not putting medicine in here either. Uh, we could actually sell the excess herbal medicine... No, keep, we'll keep all medicine for now. We'll look at possibly producing medicine for sale later, but for now that'll be fine. Uh, but we can get rid of antibiotics. That'd be a fine thing to sell. Um, okay, so then from there, we also need our meals. So that's going to be all meals and all drinks. That should be as simple as that, right? Because we're not selling any raw foods. We want that for cooking. That, yeah, that should be fine. And then this stuff, it's process. Oh, pemmican could come here. And the rest of that should be fine. Animal feed, we're not really selling that. Uh, we could do kibble. You know what? Because we're not going to have a use for that anyway. So we'll throw it in there. Hey, we're not going to be growing. Kibble is something that we will probably get dropped by guests if they really enjoy it. Um, so obviously, we're not going to be selling that for the sake of them eating it, hopefully. Um, but it would be a good thing to have there. So then we're going to want to copy that and make sure that it's only these 21. Nothing else got selected. And paste. So hopefully that works out fine. So then now we also got to cook more stuffs. Uh, and all of these are just going to be one stack of each. Uh, more visit. Is that going to be an overload? No, we're still good. Um, so we're going to be making more options. So we have fruit drinks. Um, let's keep it simple for now. So that's four of everything. Uh, we can do tacos. Cheeseburger. Oh, there's so many options. Uh, so let's keep it simple with some grilled vegetables. Uh, we'll grill up some steaks. We'll get some kebabs. We'll make eight pots of stew. That's going to be using, I'm assuming, meats and veggies. And then kebabs would probably be a mix of both, or just anything. Yeah, it will use anything. Uh, two steaks would probably be just meats. And then vegetable, grilled vegetables is just going to be any vegetables that are grilled. Um, and then we can get ourselves stir-fry, 
Uh, do we have... Yeah, we have the T as well. So what's rose T? Two rose petals. I don't know if we have any rose, but we'll set that up. Um, we can get fishing stuff up and running as well. Uh, there's brew that tea, because we do have a whole bunch of those rainbow petals. Uh, where's those rainbow petals? Ha! Do they technically count as... Oh, they're all right here. Okay. So they now get turned into tea. Uh, we're probably going to want to do these meals further down, although it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to do these all up until 100. Although I don't know what all of these stack to, so we're going to have to keep an eye on if anything's overstacking. Uh, because these might have like a stack capacity of like five, uh, 50, or I'm thinking of the vanilla set. Uh, but it might be like 50s or 25s or some other weird stuff. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. So that's going to be all right for now. That just made 2,000. Uh, so we're going to want... That only a hundred. Uh, shooting frenzy, textile trader, visitor, visitor. Okay, we don't need to worry about any of that. Um, what else we got? So we got some stew as well. Did we do stew? Yes. Uh, we have garden tea. Sure, we'll get that. Uh, what's fruit drink? I know technically I should be looking at like the... I'm a fucking idiot. We got this. That's going to be weird to get used to. Um... I should be looking at the value for the resources that go into it, but when it comes to food, I'm not so worried about it. Because that's more of just have variety for the sake of filling it. Whereas the clothing's the real money maker, even though these are guaranteed sales, essentially. Um, so then that could be not do forever, do until we have a hundred. Uh, garden tea. So what do we need for garden tea? Uh, that's coffee, coffee. Garden tea. So that's just tea leaves. Um, we also do want to craft cigarellos as well. Uh, that we're going to want down to... 100. Yeah, so we'll see what that gets us for now. Real vegetables. Um, so I suppose in four days we'll have to keep that in mind. We're going to want not shrink, but expand. Uh, we have a group of travelers passing by. That's not a problem. Uh, so we're going to... I don't know where we would do cigarellos other than a crafting spot. Okay, so we got... Uh, that's going to need... empty. Oh, those are just crates of stuff. So we could do smoke leaf joints just because... So I guess they'd also be able to be made at the drug workbench, which we don't have researched yet, correct? Oh, we got a lot of stuff going on here already. But it is not looking like it. I don't think we researched that. We could. But I don't think we have yet. So for now we'll leave it. And we'll just uh, do it here. I know this is going to be slower. But that's fine. Is, what? My screen turned off. Has it really been that long? I have no idea how long it's been. I'm terrible at time. Uh, so that's going to take... I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, oh, that's, oh, that's crates. Yeah, duh, we don't want crates. Uh, green dragon, yeah, 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 for hats, no. So we want cigarello. Oh, we also have bulk. Uh, so we'll do that as bulk. Get rid of that. Cigarello, is there a bigger bulk by any chance? Probably not. Um, and that's going to take tobacco, which we do have a lot of, actually. And we have collate books. Um, so, yeah, that's not something we have to worry about for now. Uh, so the cigarellos we are something that we want to do these forever. Because if we have it, we may as well uh, get it consumed so now will be processed uh bulk good so there's going to be more components coming in should be once you go away we could click ryan i might move ryan to the very end you guys are buying a lot of stuff all right there it is yep bought 22 so that's all they would have had okay so that's looking good it's looking good and then, how's this coming along? Ah, lots of variety. Ah, that's a problem, too. They are not doing proper stacking. Now, if we lock that, you should. No, you are not. Are you able to haul, Dragon? You are a hauler. Uh, you're not going to combine these for whatever reason. No stacks. Yeah. 
So that's kind of a pain in the ass because that means I will have to set all these up individually or else we're going to end up with multi stacks of the exact same fucking thing. And both of those are barley too. Yeah, gr grilled barley? Um, yeah, that's not going to work. Unless we have a massive area. But even then, we might end up with like 20 different stacks of grilled vegetables. And I know they do stack. It's just, it doesn't want to auto stack them. So that's kind of a pain. Um, I guess the best way to go about that would be to set it up off camera. And then we can see, I was going to say, then we can still have a couple uh, generic ones that are just for stuff that, you know, guests might drop off as a gift. But that's not something we'd want anyway, because those would get packed up with other stuff. Unless we set them to a lower priority, which is possible too. Uh, clothing is slowly coming in. Uh, it is looking like we're building not terrible quality stuff, which is nice. Uh, we can also do an allow all in case there's anything around. Uh, how's our guests? You are still good. We got lots of meat. We're running kind of low on veggie related stuff. And that still needs to get more done. But now uh, crafting people are going to be working on drugs too. Eh, it'll all get done eventually. So that's fine. Okay, so guests are good. So we don't need that, 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 or that. Um, we do need to... For now, that's fine like that. How's the mining? This is getting mined. Um, we're going to want to area revealed. Please don't be mass. Oh, son of a bitch. That's actually not bad. Because we're going to kind of need an outdoor area anyways. How big is this? Eh, it goes right up against there. We could fill that in. That way we can mine that later. But now we're going to cancel it. Uh, probably a good idea to get all that component though. But um, yeah, an outdoor area for this is going to be good. It just kind of screws up what was planned here. But we could, make, we could work with that. So in the next episode, we should be able to get that going. Which all that needs to be moved. Uh, we are going to go into here. Uh, how big is that? So that's 12 if we go right to here. Uh, so we'll do it out of wood for now. Uh, how's our block situation? Okay, we got way too much shit open. Uh, go away. Go away. Go away. Uh, we have a fuck ton of sandstone. So we could probably start sandstoning it all up. Which isn't a hard thing to do for us. Uh, for now, we'll put a door in there just so we could have access. So that's all going to be production. We're going to keep that as stockpiling. And that should work out pretty all right. That cargo. What do we get? Uh, a bunch of berries. Party. Uh, we'll haul that urgently because it is in water. And we have some more slag. Uh, where's the party? Eww. It's not a gathering spot. We do need to make a party room as well. Uh, you guys left us some... Oh, banana soda. Eww, it doesn't sound very good. Uh, and we are selling grilled veggies. Good. Too bad we didn't have a party where we had food because everyone would buy shit. They all went to sleep anyway. It's fine. Okay, so that's good. That's getting mined out. A lot of people are getting work done. Good. Beautiful. Everything's going well. Uh, now, we do also need to have a security system in here. Uh, we could probably do it right to here since that's going to be all blocked off. This isn't going to have access to here. Uh, this is just going into our research and nuclear systems. So we can have just a standard door set over here and then some blast doors and, you know, actual proper security measures over here once we get all this going. Um, and then how's the roof on that? Is that indoors? Yes, it is. So that's good. They're buying a lot of stuff. They're leaving. Uh, what we can do as well is uh, for hospitality, we can disable notifications now because we are getting a lot and it's getting bothersome to look at. Um, and then we can do an allow all as well. At least we have a lot of food variety. We just need to get more clothing going. And also weapons. No one's bought any weapons. We've had that pistol for a long time. Which is good. Because that means no one's hostile. Which makes sense. Because uh, 
No one's hostile except for pirates, but they don't come to visit anyway. All right. So that's working out well. Temperatures are good. Guests of for everything I've seen. Oh, son of a bitch. I jinxed it. I can say, for what I've seen, guests uh, have been 100% on their leaving the entire time. But this might be a different story because now it's cold. So uh, they're going to get pretty miserable pretty quick. So we're going to want to eventually get that figured out. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That was that was one of the quickest solar flares I've ever seen. The, shit, most of them didn't even notice because it was mostly just during the night. Yeah, cool. That worked out pretty well. Um, so we're going to want to get more robots sometime soon as well. Mostly for manufacturing because we are uh, lacking on crafters. Uh, so we do have... 50 components. Um, how is our reserves for lots of steel? We have some silver. We have some plastic steel. Uh, so we could get a few more going. We are at the end of the episode. How much were these again? It's 20 each. So we could get like four or five more all at once. That way we can make sure we're keeping up. It also help uh, with the research and stuff because we're going to need dedicated researchers. That way we can keep things moving at a reasonable rate. Uh, once spring comes, we're going to need to make sure we have enough growers to do this properly. Probably would be worth also expanding down into here. And then we'll go for another guest room expansion. Because it would be nice to have a higher capacity. That way we can you know, continue selling more and more. Uh, once we do end up filling up our stores. And then we're also going to want to get into, you know, brewing and actual proper drug production. Oh, there's so many things. We got baking as well. That's something we're going to want to do. Uh, we have been doing pretty good with only one quarrier. Not that he's doing it most of the time. It's mostly just the mining. But uh, that's not going to be going on forever, obviously. And that's almost done. So yeah, next episode we'll start with uh, getting this walled off and getting our research moved in. And making bots. And then from there we'll uh, we'll look at how much more growing we might want. Probably just do straight down across here. And then we'll see what bots we have and see you know how things work out. We might grab a couple more, might not. Uh, power is looking alright, but it might not be bad to grab two of them for now. Just so we have them. Get our pathway. Maybe uh, change out... The walkways although this will probably get destroyed sometime soon as well because uh, it kind of looks like ass same with these get those changed out have a proper dining area attached to this yeah there's so many things so many things either way that is going to be it for today so thank you everybody for watching and i hope you'll have a great day see ya